Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this XSense Pro Connected Smoke Alarm. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So let's get this open. So here we have a manual, contact card, screws, double stick adhesive, and here's the smoke alarm. So you can see this thing's very small and it has this mounting plate. Let's get this off here. There we go. So it has some foam in here that presses against the battery. So you can mount this up on a ceiling and then this will screw into it. This does have a replaceable battery. So let's take a look at the instructions here. So this is a connected smoke detector. So this connects into their XSense system with the app and the base station here. So this will alert you if it has an event while you're gone. It will alert you on your phone. So let's take a quick look here. What's in the box? We went through that already. This talks about downloading the app. This talks about how to add a smoke alarm and I'll go over that procedure. This talks about the self-check push notifications. This talks about where to put your smoke alarm. And you can see there's lots of these here. I just have one, but you can buy these in multi-packs. And if you're setting up a whole house, that's the cheaper way to do it is to buy, I think it's a six pack or so. They might have other packs, but that's the cheapest way to do it. So if you want an interconnected smoke alarm system, this is a great way to go since you don't have to wire any wiring. Hiring an electrician to do any work would cost her a tremendous amount of money. This is a much more budget friendly option. And here's another diagram talking about positioning. Again, on this page, this talks about mounting. So we can mount with screw or with the double stick adhesive. This talks about what happens in an alarm event. This talks about the silence function. So that's for nuisance alarms. So if you're cooking and it sets off the alarm, you can silence the alarm. Now needless to say, you wouldn't want to do that if you can't visually see that there is no fire. And this talks about the different status modes. Here are the technical specs. So the operating life is 10 years, battery life is one year. It's a photoelectric smoke alarm. Here's a safety standard, coverage area, operating temperature. You can read through all these. The silence duration is nine minutes. So if you silence it, if the smoke hasn't cleared, it will go off again. So this talks about maintenance. Important thing here is to test it regularly, especially after you replace the battery. This talks about replacing the battery. Okay, so let's take a look here. It says it takes a CR123A battery. So it looks like we have a tab here to help you pull that out. It also has a piece of plastic in here for shipping so it doesn't run the battery down. So let's place this in here. Okay, so let's get this set up in the app. I have the XSense app pulled up here. I'll tap on the menu. I'll scroll down, I'll tap add device. I'll tap on pro connected smoke detector. It says remove the back cover, remove the insulating film to supply power, ensure the battery polarities are matched correctly. Tap next to scan the QR code. So I'll tap next, I'll scan the QR code. Here we have the name. So we could name this based on where we're going to put it. So I will just say like basement or something. I'll change this later, likely when I decide where it's going to go permanently. I'll hit next. It says press and hold the test button for five seconds until the LED indicator flashes green. So that's here. I'll press and hold that. Device added. Okay, the device is added. I'll hit finish. So now we can see the smoke alarm in the app. So I can tap on that. So here we can change the name. We can look at the device information. It says device test. So I can tap this and it will test it. Okay, that tested it and we got a notification saying it's tested and in good condition. So if you have multiples of these, you can easily test these, especially if they're a little bit more out of reach, although you will need to change the battery once a year, but you can test these without having to go up and press a button on them or something. It says, are you sure you want to end the test? I'll say confirm. So then we have notifications here for alarm ended, alarm trigger, device test, device malfunction, device silenced, and low battery. So it's your own choice, obviously, but I would recommend keeping all of these notifications on. These are all important things. So I'm going to go and mount this and then I'll show it in its installed position. Okay, so I'm in a basement here. This has exposed joists, so we screwed right into them. But if you had sheetrock or something, you could use those anchors or you could use the self-adhesive pad. So I have those two screws in and then I'll put this up here and kind of line up those notches and just give it a turn and now it's installed. Now that button is very sensitive, so if you accidentally touch it, be aware that it's going to go off. You might want to cover that up. I did that once when I was installing it. So to change the battery, you just take this out, change the battery, 
put it right back in. Super easy. I know with some smoke alarms, it can be really hard to remove them. I found this one to be just incredibly easy to remove. But it's secure too. It's not going to fall off. It has a little indent there that keeps it on. So here it is from a little bit of a distance. So that's the X-Sense Pro Connected Smoke Alarm. This is an easy way to add connected smoke alarms to your house. You can put these in all the recommended places, and then if one goes off, it will set off the others. So since this is in a basement, if the furnace were to catch fire or something, the smoke would go here, it would set off the other alarms, it would alert you on your phone, and you'd have precious time to get out of the house and call the fire department. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.